Welcome to episode 73 of the Friday Fizz. Today, Twitter has some amazing news finally. We talk about some Dyson electric powered cars and a Ryanair dead. So before we get going on today's topics, we need to do a quick update on the Neil Welsh story, which was developing throughout the week. I'm not sure if you follow him on uh, Twitter or Facebook, but um, basically he was crying a lot in pain, like man up, for God's sake. It cycles a few miles on a bike and starts crying, oh, mini, mini, mini. So uh, yeah, sort yourself out, Neil. Uh, no, but seriously, congratulations. Is it done now? I, I don't think is, so. I don't think he's quite finished. Jesus, no, I, it's about six hundred miles, yeah, isn't it? He took a picture like, of the mountain, um, yeah. and I thought, and he was like cycling up it in that day, and it's like you can't do that in a day, surely. Like you could drive up it in a day, but well, yeah, <laughs> walking up it with a bike, never mind cycling. Insane. Hey, what's this? Two hundred eighty character limit. What's We're not this all about? It. No, they've changed it. You're joking. From one hundred and forty characters, you can now type tweets two hundred eighty characters long. Oh my god! <laughs> Is this the revolution that Twitter needed? No. Well, f you. I can live my own life in my own way if I want to. F off. Don't come following me. No one was calling for longer tweets. I've Not literally really, never no. seen it. No, I haven't. And uh, they're, they're rolling it out, so it's a slow rollout, testing it with certain users. Um, but I mean, the announcement, I think one of the, the main things that's been torn about apart is Jack's announcement on Twitter of right. this new 280 character limit. He obviously typed a tweet that was 280 characters long, but then people have torn him down basically editing his tweet just to cut out all the irrelevant waffle to cut it down <laughs> to the low 140 characters. <laughs> and say the exact same thing. He's filled 280 characters for the sake of it, and yeah. it's still got a link to a blog to yeah. find out more. You could have done it in 140 characters and said, read more on the blog, yeah. would have been fine. So it's literally pointless. <laughs> I'd we, much rather go on Instagram because it's yeah. Instagram's similar, right? Because it's quick and it's fast. As in, the whole 140 characters was that you could read it in a, a second or two and move on. Mm. Instagram and the Instagram yeah. stories are just it's what's easier, capturing my attention. You, you flick through it, and I suppose you don't have to try and digest much because you're literally no. just looking at something yeah, to catch your eye. Yeah. Twitter, you've got to try and flick through and see if there's anything interesting text-wise. Yeah. Instagram, you're just looking for bright images or a bit of video, yeah. aren't you? And you can quite easily flick through whether it's a timeline or whether it's stories. And you've got more compelling stories to tell. Yeah. Or people seem to be using it in a way to tell better stories. Because mm. the stories, like the, the captions you get on Instagram, are much better now than you see on Twitter, which are just automated links or links to blogs, news. It's, it's just boring and unengaging. Yeah. Talking, of, uh, talking of Twitter, there's been some more, um, some more controversy on Twitter from uh, the supposed most powerful man in the world. But I like to be unpredictable. Well, I mean, Trump's obviously just having a nightmare on Twitter, isn't he? Not, yeah. Not that he should be allowed on it. No. Um, but, yeah, he's the one that needs the edit button, I think. <laughs> yeah, he needs it more than anybody. You see, it, recently there was a, effectively a by-election um, in one of the states, and the Republicans and Democrats needed to elect their candidates to stand, and Trump chose to back a certain Republican candidate. Yeah. Um, publicly backed him on Twitter. Said he was going to smash it. Yeah, yeah, this, this guy was surging ahead in the polls because Trump was... Uh, backing him apparently um, but this guy convincingly lost um, so Trump then went back and deleted all his tweets <laughs> showing they backed him he obviously can't back a loser yeah. um, and then obviously he had to switch his attention and, and promote the, the candidate that did win and said make sure you vote for this guy on Thursday the you know, 5th of November or something like that turns out the, the vote was actually on a Friday so it was just one massive cock up. Massive shambles. One reason why you should let a professional comms team manage your Twitter account <laughs> yeah. and not leave it in yeah. charge of someone like that. And normally at this point, I'd step in and I'd say, if you need that, come and speak to us, but Trump can f off. I ain't doing his tweets. Right, cool, moving on. Another social, more social media news. Facebook blood donation. Well, you look at it and you think, right, Twitter, they're letting you type extra long yeah. paragraphs now of ramble and rubbish. Yeah. And on the other hand, you've got Facebook who are effectively matching blood donors with people that need blood donations. This is the type of world-changing that we need from our biggest technology companies. Yeah, you'd think Twitter would be working on something a bit bigger, wouldn't you? We ain't got the money to do it, because no one wants to use it. No, but this is in <laughs> India for Facebook, so right. um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's obviously you put it out there what blood type you are, Yeah. Um, and obviously if you're willing to donate, 
and then it matches you up with the people that need it. Right, that's, that's pretty it's impressive. It's using the power of Facebook, yeah. it's using a social network in a way that it, it yeah. should be used. And this is what I love about social media, it can, it can do so much good. There's, all we ever hear about in the press and media is about how the about the negative effects that social media has, and sure there are some. Mm. Um, but the reality is, is technology ain't going away. It's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Technology is going to be integrated into our bodies. We probably won't f-ing give birth in fifty years. Like seriously, what is going on? All right, uh oh. Uh oh, what is that? I think Morty's robot was designed for more than long weekends. All these f-ing things that we don't particularly enjoy, we're not gonna have to do anymore. Everything's gonna be technology based because that's evolution, right? We're not gonna drive our own cars, blah, 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 except for fun maybe. Um, and, and so get used to it, right? But start thinking about how technology can be used for the good. Mm. And that's a good start, you know, Facebook linking people up in that way. Coming off the back of that and sort of saying how technology can change the world, yep. Amazon have uh, developed something revolutionary. Um, well, now you can link Amazon Alexa to a Billy Bass. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> and um, then basically make it sing and you can control it through Amazon Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, what's the weather? Currently, in Cambridge, it's 45 degrees with showers. This is announced <laughs> by like a senior VP or something at Amazon at one of their conferences this week. Um, where basically it's a plug-in chip that you can put into your Billy Bass and it'll, uh, you can talk to it, you can control its mouth, yes. all this kind of yes. stuff through Amazon Alexa. That is br- Changing that is the world genius. for the better. <laughs> that is actually genius. The, bit, the genius thing of it though is it's a great PR stunt. Yeah, well that's it, it's, it's made the headlines yeah. and then you read it and find out what else they were talking about. And yeah. Obviously the new, it's the Amazon Echo 2 isn't it, that's coming out. Yeah. So it's like all the stuff that will feed yeah. off the back that, of it. Is, that is, that is manipulating social media chat for superb marketing mm. like that's the that is clever blue shit. planet 2 yeah so again 10 years ago david attenborough made the show for the bbc oh, did, yeah. Blue yeah, planet. Yeah. yeah it was a phenomenon obviously it's led into planet earth all the all the others um, but blue planet 2 is back and it looks so much better it looks absolutely epic i watched the trailer this morning five minutes long they've got obviously david attenborough back They've got Hans Zimmer and Radiohead to do the music. Wow. And obviously all the, all the new technology in the last 10 years, you see all the drone shots, you see mm. so much detail and it looks epic. But again, um, like people criticize or like have a, an issue with paying BBC license fee, 100 quid a year yeah. or something. You see this and it is so good. I'd pay just for that. I think the problem that the BBC is that they have to cater for every audience. So you can say, oh yeah, well that might be great, but those 20 <laughs> items are right. But yeah. to some people they're not. Yeah. Dyson, this is fairly impressive. Mm. Electric powered cars coming from Dyson. Can you believe you can that? Vacuums. You look surprised. Well, best with yeah. me that the camera has no idea who you're talking to. No, he's <laughs> talking to Ellie, our newest apprentice. <laughs> right then, yeah, so Dyson are making electric cars. Mm. Now, we all know them for making vacuums. Yeah. Um, very powerful vacuums that don't lose suction. They reckon they'll have it launched by 2020. Which is insane. They, they're set to invest two billion pounds, I think, into into the development of it. Apparently, Which, by the way, is f- all. Well, when you're probably, developing yeah. a, a product like that. Yeah, but they haven't. I mean, apparently, there's people been working on it um, for a couple of years, kind of thinking about the project. Yeah. But they haven't yet earmarked a site for the factory. Right. Um, they haven't started developing anything. There's no prototype. There's no plans. So it, I guess it's just a, a bit of a concept in someone's head mm. that they now need to put into yeah. action. So there's two billion to spend. They've got two years before it's due to be launched. Yeah. Which I, just, I don't really get. Like, how can you throw a car together in that kind of time? I'm going to put it out there. I think it's going to be a massive failure. Dyson, known for domestic products. Yes, good domestic products, but not particularly a fashionable thing you're not gonna get in a car and think oh yeah i'm driving a dyson no. like it's if they'd have done it and started a new brand maybe but yeah, you don't want to yeah. go out oh i'm just uh, gonna go in my dyson to go downtown or something no you're not you're gonna vacuum your carpets with your dyson or dry your hands because they make air products they don't make cool cars we, I suppose we've got to wait and see. Uh, finally then, oh, there's a comment, uh, suggestion coming from Sean Kieran's. 
uh, on um, right. on Ryanair. Yeah. If they can ride it out and ride this bit yes. out, it's a blip. Yeah, I mean, but the reality is, right? When we go on a flight, unless you're wealthy and you do business class, and shit, what do you do? You look for the cheapest flight. Mm. What they said, like off the back of it, they're going to have to like obviously reduce the prices massively to get people back on board. So it's going to be like nine ninety nine to fly yeah. to Venice or something stupid. Yeah. People are still going to pay that. If you can get a flight for a tenner, you're going to pay it. You're still going to go back to Ryanair even after a PR no, disaster. I'm not sure a tenner, really. Yeah. Wow. I'm going on a lot of holidays next year. Fun and laughter on a summer holiday. No more worries for me or you. So you might have seen on our Instagram, Twitters, and LinkedIn. Load of books. And, yeah, we got we bought a load of books. I went on a bit of a an Amazon spree. Speaking of Amazon, um, and we bought loads of books. Now these are just the ones that I've sort of semi recently read, uh, and I liked them. Except I've not read, read Ask Gary V yet. No, I've got we the should, audio book. What we want to do is we want to create a massive library um, for our staff and and our clients and friends of the business and colleagues who can come and borrow books, swap books, recommend books. So um, if you've got any recommendations for books, let us know, because yeah, we're having a big push on book reading exercises. Yeah. Ellie, how's your book coming on? Have you even taken out your bag yet? No. Nope. So it's going really well. It's going really well. Ellie's um, looked at the cover. <laughs> so she's really which, inspired. Which book is it? Oh God, doesn't yeah, right. she hasn't even looked at the cover because she doesn't even know what her book it is brilliant right fair enough okay best of a bad lot deal what we got thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and share and recommend some books for us to read in our office I actually prefer Vax do you? yeah yeah we, we've compared the Dyson and the Vax uh, and it actually the backs works better. So I've got to give us a contract. So.